Hey folks, let's talk about the singleton design pattern. Well, the singleton design pattern is one of the first design patterns every Unity programmer learns. And this is because it's very handy, very useful, because it makes it easier to access other scripts. And also it ensures that scripts are only instantiated once. And this is very, very helpful for manager classes. And almost any game needs some sort of manager class. However, I'll say it right away, the singleton design pattern is quite heavily discussed in the Unity community. Some people love it and swear on it. Others mm, even call it an anti-pattern. So uh, the opposite of a design pattern. They, they say it's a very bad practice and it destroys the, the structure of your game overall. So I'll, I'll talk about this in a separate video because it's a major topic. However, I personally think it's a very useful design pattern for prototypes or small games. For bigger projects, it definitely gets hairy. But as long as you're not developing multiple months on a project, Singleton is very, very fine and, and it, it really helps a lot. Okay, so let's look at what games probably use some sort of Singleton. I'm not completely sure, I didn't see the source code, but I think these games that I'm going to show you now are predestined to have some sort of uh, singleton design pattern in them. So first off, Hearthstone is a great example. In Hearthstone, you need to track so many things. You need some manager classes that take care of uh, ending your turn, determining whose turn it is, drawing a card and all of these different things. So Hearthstone to me is really one of those games that's a prime example where you can use a singleton to efficiently create these manager classes that handle all of these things. The second example is not so much known, but it's a great game anyways. It's Oxygen Not Included. In this game, you have uh, many uh, little duplicants. These are clones of little people and they need to survive in this uh, hostile environment. And you need to track so many different things. You need to track if there are germs inside your base. You need to track if you have enough water, how much resources you have available and so on. So there's really much space for this design pattern. But to be honest, any game can use this design pattern. I mean, really every game, starting from Flappy Bird, most simple of all games. And also, I don't know, games like World of Warcraft and so on, like huge games could in theory also use the singleton design pattern. So it's a very, very important design pattern, a very, very widespread design pattern that almost any even junior programmer knows. And yeah, that's why you should know a little bit about it. And also you need to keep in mind that Unity is a little bit different than plain C Sharp. So if you're Googling online for the singleton design pattern, it's implemented a little bit different in, in plain C Sharp than in Unity, because in Unity we don't use constructors in mono behaviors. And that's why we need to implement the singleton design pattern slightly different, but uh, don't worry, I've figured it out and I'll show you many different ways to implement them in Unity. So join me in exploring the singleton design pattern. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I want to invite you to my course over at Udemy. This course is solely devoted to design patterns in Unity. And there you will gain access to premium quality exercises and examples for these design patterns. Also, I will talk about more specialized and more advanced implementations of these design patterns. So if you press on the link in the description below, you will get a discount on the course. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.